First couple of goals have already been accomplished. Got to the area, got a feel for the area, figured out kind of what the lay of the land looks like, just some basic navigational things squared away, figuring out where the primary trailhead is, that sort of thing. Just debating right now, there's a switchback going up over here that is always the safe bet. This peak that we're trying to get to, um, it looks like there might be a little bit easier, shorter route. Just getting more comfortable so that when this becomes the real deal in a couple weeks, I'll feel a lot better rolling into it as opposed to just coming in blinds. It kind of sneaks up on you. As you're going across this part of the state, it just slowly climbs. So we're probably at about 6,000 right now, but you don't even realize it because everything, look, everything looks flat. But then you look on the horizon, you can just see the mountains just jutting up out of nowhere. about a hunt of this magnitude is there are so many little fine details you got to make sure that you're taken care of eyes dotted t's crossed and in this case final check before we uh roll up onto the mountain is going to be getting the um, off highway vehicle permit for the yamaha so we can ride that bad boy on 500 feet short of the peak clutch this is a complicated system for a guy like me Easy does it. Just to safeguard, I had a campsite reserved just to make sure I didn't get up here and have everything gone. I had a day right in the middle where somebody had already reserved it. So instead of doing that, because we're on the national forest ground, you can do dispersed camping in most areas. So we found a sweet site. We're able to take the Yamaha into to set up just not far from the parking area where I can put my truck. And we're about to set up right now. I'd rather be up here anyway, away Dude, from people. This is there's like, little spots like this all the way up there, you know. But. Yeah. So I've I've always been a big game hunter. I'm I'm from Iowa, so I'm a huge whitetail hunter. But I grew up with a father that always came out west elk hunting and mule deer hunting. So I grew up on that as well. And over the years, I got a I got that that itch and that fixation for the the more of the exotic big game like the sheep, uh, the billy goats, the the things that are hard to to come by, things that are hard to draw a tag for. And this morning, as you can see, it's already fully light. I'm not big into rushing. I used to do that and it stressed me out big time, so I like to just take my time. It makes things a lot better. Big country, big glass. Uh, I'm running this Burris spotting scope, biggest one they make. It's a 60 and it has served me well. I've used this on a lot of different hunts. Uh, it does really well in all light conditions. It, it, I can beat it up. Uh, I've had no problems with it. So it's kind of one of those deals. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We're gonna head up for this morning, do a bunch more glassing, just walk the ridge line, not get too far ahead of ourselves. We wanna just ease into this so we don't screw our bodies up for the rest of the trip, but off we go. Will gives me knocks. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm happy to be here with you. Thanks, Thank you so much for telling me about this hunt. He's like, there's a bunch of them right there. I was like, what are you talking about? First time coming up here as a group to glass and we're not even 
near where we were gonna go get up to glass and there's just a pile of sheep right there. Popular recreation area, a lot of people hiking and whatnot. And I believe it or not, people take their trucks up this road. I personally wouldn't wanna do it with my truck. That's why we've got the Yamaha. Can just rip right up here with the Yamaha, no problem. But people do take their trucks up here. Uh, this hiker that we just ran into, hiker slash camper, his battery died. I'm gonna take the Yamaha up there and give him a jump and get his truck started so he doesn't have to walk to the bottom of the mountain to find help. I haven't been back to this spot since 2018. You know, I've, I've been on a lot of elk hunts, a lot of mule deer hunts, antelope, you name it, but I uh, always had this lingering feeling in my head to go sheep hunting. The problem with that is it's so hard to get a tag, you kind of put it in the back of your mind, because most of these places these days, it takes 25, 30 years to draw a tag, or you're gonna get out your checkbook and write a significant check. In 2017, I met a gentleman in the industry who was kind enough to let me know about a sheep hunt that I could get in on. He was kind enough to, to give me some information on some sheep hunts that would allow a young, a young person as such as myself with relatively zero points in, in any states to go on a sheep hunt. Uh, it wouldn't be a, a ram tag, but there are opportunities to chase ewes. And uh, he gave me just enough information to do a bunch of research myself, spent a bunch of time looking at to different states, and I, I got it figured out. And that's what brought me, brought me out here. I passed this information along to other friends, uh, such as Josh, and got him out here to uh, enjoy the same thing. I probably never documented things like this on camera. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, the scale, the depth, the steepness, just it's just impossible with the equipment to do it remotely any justice. So a good way to think about it is if it looks like, uh, that looks kind of sketchy. If it looks kind of sketchy, it's at least sketchy or really freaking sketchy. If it looks like, oh, that looks pretty bad, then, it look, then it's probably a near-death situation. Just, just keep that in mind. This thing today, probably more than anything, was just stretching our legs. Finding sheep was a definite plus and a huge bonus. Just getting more conditioned to being up here on the mountain because there's no telling what kind of hell might break loose when it is time to actually go after the sheep. I mean, it could be easy or it could be really difficult. Uh, it's not up to us, it's up to the sheep. We're gonna head down the mountain right now. I need to go shoot my rifle a couple times just to make sure everything is square. I drove, so everything should be fine, but you know how it is. You just gotta, you gotta at least go into the hunt with confidence, and for me to do that, usually I like to shoot my rifle first. So as long as the wind is right and they stay where they're at, we're gonna have a good day tomorrow. Um, just gotta be patient and just keep rolling the way that we have been, one step at a time, not rushing things, soaking up the experience. This is, uh, more than I ever could have dreamed of, and being able to get a sheep in my sights is just gonna be next level craziness, so can't wait for tomorrow.